Hi guys, I'm Nagadet Chan and welcome to live reaction of something maybe special or different because I'm kind of interested into different things and it became kind of more popular for a Chinese anime I don't know how they are called in Chinese cartoons, Chinese cartoons looking kind of similar to anime but they are different I haven't seen much I think I saw Hitori no Shita which I actually enjoyed a lot and I know there is a second season so I really need to watch it I mean it was kind of different and kind of weird but I did really like it, it was very enjoyable and I'm watching one more Chinese cartoon anime but I don't remember what it is, it's like very low budgety but I'm intrigued into the story so why not I personally don't care much about uh, animation if the story and characters are intriguing so yeah it could be very low budget but if characters and story are interesting I will watch it so I decided that I might try another like Chinese anime and I'm really like really interested what it would be this one is called uh, oh my god Zen Hun Chi or uh, Rakshasa Street Requiem Street Rakshasa Street uh, it looks kind of promising I mean not many people saw it but the rating is almost 8 out of 10 which is I think a lot for how not much people saw that and it looks uh, like the picture looks really good I mean I've read not much Chinese manhua 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 but I've read Feng Shenji uh, it's like that one is amazing, it's full colored and the story is just amazing like that was the best manhwa I ever read and I hope I will like read more but they are not translated like not much of them are translated I I think I know there is a lot of manhwa by the author who made Feng Shenji also, if I'm butchering the pronunciation, I'm sorry, but I never learned Chinese and I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm sorry if you're a Chinese person and I just don't know how to pronounce it. So uh, I hope they would translate more of his work because that manhwa was amazing. So I'm going to watch uh, Rakshasa Street. It's very short, 14 minutes per episode, but I'm interested. So I hope that it would be very, very interesting. I'm intrigued, so... Uh, episode number one. And I'm going to start it right now. I hope it's in Chinese. Music seems nice. Yeah, it is Chinese. Animation actually visuals are not that bad. This guy looks weird. He is talking to her. I would be freaking out. I would be freaking out. Mm, yeah, that, that's me. What? 
has happened? What the hell? Where the hell are you? What the hell? Uh, he spilled it. But what? You're in the middle of the street, damn. What? You shouldn't stop in the middle of the street even if some stranger stops you. But the visuals doesn't look so bad, it looks cool, I like it. Maybe not the most high budgety, but doesn't look so bad. Actually better than uh, like the one I'm watching now. <laughs> Way more better. It wasn't her, you, like, bang into her. Damn. So she's trying to have a job. Doesn't look amused. Yeah. He's like, I don't give you a fag, lady. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good question. You don't know answer for any kind of this. Uh, wow, so many people. I would freak out. I don't like so many people in one in one place. I'm not listening to her at all. Wow. That would be frustrating if I like would need to do something like this. Like, what? Yeah, but that's not anything. If you like sell yourself better. Oh wow, that was transition. So she's trying to find a job, which might be probably pretty hard in Chinese, China, I don't know. There's so many people. Can read Chinese, Tim. Who wrote her? And it's such late at night. That's fishy. Girl. Girl, what are you doing, girl? Mm, you 
should turn around and just go home. This is seriously not fishy at all. But it looks cool, I like it. Oh, is this like a ticket so you can go in? That is way more fishy than it was. Like another dimension. Kinda. It's probably not a normal company at all. She realized that right now, oh my god, girl, yeah, even something like this could happen. That's so stupid. I would turn around just like when I would see the entrance. Ah, oh, she's lost. Cool. Cool, girl. Cool. Seriously, girl. Yeah, what the heck is that? Where the hell are you in some supernatural alternate dimension where whatever the freak they are are trying to kill you? Well, I don't see any people outside, so it probably means don't go outside at night or something like that. Who the hell are they? What? Oh, so the douche delivery man is residing in the street? The girl is running away... What? They are zombies? Ghost zombies, ghost demons. Oh my god, they're ripping her clothes. <laughs> and uh, they were trying to eat her. Okay. I don't understand anything, but it doesn't look bad. They know each other. And he acted like a douchebag. Okay, so I'm super freaking nice and weapon. to hell. Oh. That's interesting. What? Yeah, she knows him. The douchebag! <laughs> My exact reaction. Oh, the bigger guy comes in. Yeah, 
是。I like their teeth. <laughs> they look creepy. Your brother is not a cocky jerk. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, he must be really strong if he's able to like live here. Bumpity bump. Oh damn. Well, he's kind of wrecking him. Seriously, dude. The fire. It's broken. Huh. Interesting. It blasted him off. So, what that weapon is? A sword? Uh, 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 I don't understand that weapon. Jump. What the hell is that? Oh, his arm turned into snake. No, he didn't. Me neither. Snake or dragon or what the hell is that? This fight is not ending. <laughs> So to do a little stupid idea. Ouch. So, there are even... Are there some people living or ghosts or whatever? Ouch. Okay. Nice laughing. Dude. Ah, table turn. Now he is the one who is very much being wrecked. Well, he was wrecked before, but it looked like he won, and he is wrecked again. So Python. He's cute. Can I have a snake pet? He was... <sighs> I don't think so. Yep, the Wolaine's laugh once again. That snake is so cute. Oh no, he's rising.
probably a pretty strong one. Oh wow, that's some big thing. Looks cool. It's flaming. That's so cool. <laughs> it looks like Transformer was mixed with Chinese. Uh, style. But it looks cool. All flamey and such. Dude, you're done. What about it, poor snake? I like that snake. It was cute. Okay, there are... Poor souls. Uh, soundtrack is good. Okay. Oh, this was cool. This is cool. Logo. So, that's the end. Ah, oh, penguin! It's so cute. I like the song as well. It's actually kind of good song. Soundtrack is really good. More interesting characters. The white haired guy looks interesting. What? There is no translation. I don't understand Chinese. Wow, so it was. Rakshasa Street, first episode. Well, the art and visuals animation wasn't that bad. There were some, I think it was, CG parts. They were kinda quirky, you know, a little bit weirder, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, soundtrack is really, really good. The voice acting is actually pretty good too, even though I don't understand Chinese. Uh, Chinese to me sounds kind of different because it's not Japanese, 
but I listen a lot of Korean, like language, which is very different from Jap Japanese. Has like a lot of similar pronunciation to my language, like they have, r, you know, so um, they r r r is more like r l so, but still like they have a lot of similar sounds. You know, like in English, they are not this kind of sounds. Maybe that's probably why Japanese is not so hard for me because it sounds there are a lot of similar sounds, so I don't need to like learn exactly new pronunciation like in English. So it sounds like similar some pronunciation things, so it's not that hard. But Chinese is completely different, and like Korean and Chinese sounds slightly. I think there is like Korean and Chinese sound slightly like similar, but it's same with Korean and Japanese. Like I know there are completely different languages, but it's like when you learn Japanese. And then learn Korean, and then learn Chinese. I think that's like the most easiest, like way how to learn Chinese, because even though they are completely different languages, I don't know. Like, Korean, uh, Japanese has like the air r sound, and like the d, uh, g, sh, ni. Similar like in my language, but the Korean is like more softer, and Chinese is like extreme soft language. That's why I'm talking about similarities. Like you have Japanese, which is not that soft sounding language. Then Korean is sounding a little bit softer, and there is a Chinese, which sounds to me extremely like extremely soft language. So. It's like same uh, like in um, uh, languages like my language, and then Polish or uh, Slovakia language sounds a bit softer, and the Polish is more softer, and the Russian is extremely soft language for me. Like so, like it's the way to from kind of not soft language to extremely soft language, and. If you like heard languages between that, like before, I started to watch more of Slovak or uh, I don't know TV shows. I really had a hard times to understand Polish or Russian, but after I started to watch more and more Slovak, I realized that it's very easy for me to understand Polish. And then when I heard more of Polish, it was easier to understand Russian or hear the words because. It's like from not soft language to softer and softer and softer language, and you start to hear the pronunciation things, you know, and such. And I I think the same is for me with Japanese, Korean, and Chinese, because even though they are completely different languages, like the pronunciation kinda feels sometimes similar. And for me now, like because I. Started with Japanese long time ago, and then like now I listen to a lot of Korean, even though I don't understand Korean, so it doesn't feel so soft. I mean, when I heard long time ago Chinese or like Korean, I, I was like, that's weird. It sounds like, you know, meowing like. But now I I I can actually listen like, hear like words which I wasn't able before. And it's probably because I now like listen to a lot of Korean things, and even though I don't understand Chinese, I can hear words which I wasn't able to hear before, because I didn't listen to any similar kind of Asian language. So that's my point. <laughs> Chinese doesn't sound so weird to me like it sounds long time ago, but like I said, it's probably because I heard, I listen to more Asian languages, and they are sometimes kind of similar. You know they are completely different, but you know it's uh, Asia, so like they influenced each other. So you now there are similarities, of course. 
So I wouldn't have a problem with copyright. So I can't hear it clearly, but soundtrack is definitely very good, and I really, I do really like it. And story seems interesting, even though it's just different. I mean, the main character—I don't know—is it the girl or the guy? Well, I guess the girl is the main character, and she seems interesting. But the guy is kind of too cocky. No, I don't like the characters like him. So, I don't know, like, but it looks like next episode there would be more interesting characters. Like I said, I don't like characters like the guy main character, that guardian, whoever he is. I just don't like characters like him. But it might not be the problem because it looks very interesting I, I, and I do really love soundtrack. It's cool, so freaking cool. So I think I'm giving it 7 out of a 10, which is, I usually start like first episode with 7 out of a 10. So yeah, it was pretty interesting, different, very different, but interesting. I like new things and different things, so I think that's all, yeah. First episode of Chinese cartoon anime. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, a lot of people says that they don't have a high budget, which they usually don't have. I mean, Chinese production is not that big as Japanese one, but it looked good. It looked really good. Yeah, so I think that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.